Here's my basic uh, walk cycle, and you can see he's got arms, legs, and a control bone and a head. So I'll do something kind of like that in a hurry here. Let's do a uh, character bone on my grid so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And create bones, and I'll just create the body bones first. Let's just say here, there's my backbone, my second backbone, and stop. And let's just get rid of the nub here. And let's do a head bone, something like that. And we'll leave the nub on the top. Actually, we don't need that. And let's create some uh, arms. Let's actually create some shoulders. And get rid of the nub and shoulders. And normally I'd make these touch and I'd be a little more concerned about everything lining up. But in the interest of time, I want to do something really fast. So there's the arms. These are going to be Ford kinematic arms. And there'll be a hand at the bottom. Let's see how this works. And then uh, I want some legs. I'm going to do those from the side. In fact, I'm going to move this whole thing up. So we'll turn off Create Bones, move it all up. And uh, I'm not going to worry about the, um, hips. I'm just going to do legs. And um, let's go to our left side view. And let's create a bone to control all of this. That'll be our root joint. And you don't need a nub on that. In fact, let's name this root joint. If you're going into a game engine, you normally need a main bone that's the parent of all the bones. And in this case, the engine I'm using, the Unity engine, wants the name root joint. And I want some legs, so I'll go ahead and create those. Just build them out here somewhere. And notice that I'm building the bend in the leg. It helps the IK, the inverse kinematic process, to know which way to bend the leg. And I want a foot here. And um, let me make a little more room here. I'm going to move my leg over. And move the foot over. So we got an upper leg, lower leg, ankle bone, and a foot bone. They're all disconnected. And um, front view. Got to move that over. Easier to do if we go to left view for a second. Grab all this. Front view. Move it over. And let's just mirror that. Using our mirror tool right here. Um, in the x-axis should work. And if I hold down my control key, I can make that move faster. Right there. Again, we're missing hips, but that's okay for now. Super simple. And uh, what else do I like? Front view. Um, no, top view. I like leg bones or feet controllers. So let's make a couple boxes for foot controllers. And front view. That should work. Move those down. And shift. Okay. And left side view, everything look good, yes. Okay, here's how we'll build this. Um, well, this is the hip bone, right? Why don't we, oh, this is the body bone. Let's just rotate that a little bit. Oh, got the wrong bone. Probably a good idea to go to your front view. And now we can go to our left view and rotate that a little bit. And the head didn't come along for the ride, so let's just move the head. Now, I know that I'm uh, going a little fast here. What else do I want to do? I think on this, on these feet, um, I'm just going to grab them and make sure that they rotate basically off the heel, even though that's a subjective thing. You're going to have rotation pivot points issues no matter what. From my left view, how well lined up is that? Not too bad. And get this one also, effect pivot point, left side view, move it over. That just controls where that box is going to pivot. Anything else? 
I don't think so. So now let's just create the parent-child relationships. So I'm going to go to uh, uh, let me see. I'm going to go to select and link. And I'm going to say this is a child of that. This is a child of that. Just press and drag. This head is a child of the neck. This body is a child of the root joint. These legs, thighs are each child of the root joint. The root, child, root joint is the parent of everything. And um, that's about it for that. And back to our view here. I'm going to grab I'm going to grab the upper thigh bone, animation solvers, HI solver, and grab the ankle bone. Do the same thing again. I'm going to, this is my inverse kinematic process. HI solver, grab the ankle bone. Okay, so what does that do? All those things combine to allow me to do this. Move him up and down. Now, something's not working. It looks like the uh, shoulders were never attached to this head, so let's undo that. Shoulders never got attached. So let's go to those. Let's say you are a child of that and you are a child of that. Now let's see if it works. And do our move. There we go. So everything's attached. In fact, I want them to be crouching pretty low here. And the last thing we need to do is make these uh, the IK and the foot bone children of these feet controllers, these boxes. So foot bone, you're a child of the box, and IK, you are a child of the box. Now what does that allow us to do? Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see this. And uh, I go to move, and I grab the foot controller, I can move the leg up and down, or I can rotate it. Okay, so I can do that with either side. That's my basic, super simple rig. Okay, let me see if I can animate it in, uh, what do I have, about two minutes or something. So, left side view, well, before I do left side view, let's look at this. Let's move the right foot first, so I'll grab that. Go to left side view, I'm just going to turn on auto key and go to frame, let's say 10. And move this up. And uh, let's move the body forward. And let's move the body up a little bit, actually. Because when you make that step, you're gonna, your pelvis is going to come up. And uh, probably the foot's going to have to rotate a little bit, too. Right? And you can probably move forward a little bit more. We're only on frame 10. And the other thing we might want to do is take this rear leg and rotate it so it's coming off the toe. Actually, before we do that, let's go all the way to frame 20 and do that. And I'll move that up. And um, I can actually, on frame 20, this thing can come further. This foot can come further. The whole body comes further. And um, the body would go down again. So I use the root joint to do that. Okay, that's about all I think I can squeeze into my 10 minute limit. So we'll just go back to our um, original and show what that looks like so you can get an idea what you can do with the arms. Those would be forward kinematic. Just rotate the arms using the auto key. Okay, and try to make sure that the feet don't slide when you plant them. And that's one of the things this rig helps you do is those feet don't move unless you move them. Hopefully that's enough for a good start. Uh, I've got this file on my site, 3dcognition.com. If you've got the book, it's a free download. Just something that might help as you work through it. Otherwise, hopefully this video is enough. And if I have time, I'll try to do more of these.